Early this month, Cottage Grove Middle School students had an incredible opportunity to learn about computer coding during Computer Science Week. A website called The Hour of Code was available for, for free to students for an entire week to learn coding through tutorials. I had a chance to catch up with two teachers who are really behind the program. Take a look. Hello, today we're at Cottage Grove Middle School where students are participating in Computer Science Week and specifically the Hour of Code, learning about computer programming. So I'm here with math teacher Asia Bednar and Lacey Hoff. I'm sorry, what is your position again? Speech therapist. Speech therapist, um, who introduced the program to the school. So could you tell us a little bit about what students are learning here at Cottage Grove Middle School? When the students started in, we came into the computer lab in order to work with the hour code. No one knew what to expect. We had a website, and that was about all that we had. And the students were able to plug in or log on to the website. And after we worked out a few glitches, they were actually working through creating a rules, lessons for this creature, whether it would be an Angry Birds creature or whether it would be, they call it the light bot creature, to make him move and do certain acts and they had to program him to move around a corner and to turn on a light bulb, and they had to create the angry bird. They were pretty excited about the angry bird. Uh, they had to tell him how to move around corners and go get the pig, because evidently that's what angry birds, do, they do. So they were really into it, and then from there they actually traveled further and they had to actually write code where they had to use the technical terminology and the coding script where they would have to write this dot, comma, parentheses, say, and they learned it and they were getting into it and it was just very exciting to see them participate in that. That is very exciting and why, what is the importance of this week or why do you think it was such a good experience for your students to be able to participate in this? You know, everyone is talking about technology and how important technology is, and it really is where our kids are moving. And a few years ago, there was a statistic that what is like 85% of our eighth graders will have jobs that don't even exist yet, and many of them focus around technology. And it's really going to become critical that in our STEM classes, we start teaching the coding and how to do that. And this was just an introduction to the students of what it is. What does it mean to do coding? What does you know, I'm not trying to write a secret code. I'm trying to give them a directions and plans. And so this was just an introduction. And I really think personally that it's going to become part of what we have to teach in school on a regular basis. New language. New language definitely new language. Just it's going to be as important as math and reading and science are. That's great. And how did the students react? Did they enjoy the experience? Were they excited? I'll keep talking. So I'm going to take this one over. Uh, my students actually, we sent them home after the day and the next day we gave a poll how many of you went home and played at home we went did coding at home and surprising is about half of them and instead of being on Facebook and all those other social media they were actually doing some coding languages and digging deeper into what were the other games and some of them are participating in this more than once they'll participate with math class or with social studies class and so for science classes and so for those who are with multiple classes, they're coming in the next day showing the other kids, hey, try this one. This is a new one that we haven't done yet. And so they, yeah, they're very pumped about it. They're enjoying it quite a bit. Very cool. That's excellent. Well, is there anything else you'd like to add about this? Everyone should go try it. Yeah, definitely. Everyone should try it. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.